multiple entities, they're all gonna work together. Then it was your boy, so right. it wasn't like it said your name. A human tone, not that... That's what bothers me. It doesn't sound like a human... Guys, the spot that we're at tonight has almost 200 years of history and a really dark past. Tonight we're at Edinburgh Manor. Now, the facility we're standing in right now is not the original building. The original building was made in 1850 and it was to serve as the county poor farm. Now, if you don't know, a poor farm is basically where society's undesirables would go. So if you struggled with alcoholism, if you struggled with addiction, if you were deemed physically or mentally handicapped, you could be sent here even too old or if your family just didn't want you they could drop you off here and you just kind of co-mingle with everybody now people who lived here also worked here it was a self-sufficient little community so you're expected to kind of pitch in your fair share and they provided you with food shelter and clothing you may remember fairfield county infirmary another poor farm we investigated on our channel they called their residents inmates they did the same thing here even though they didn't really do anything wrong, but they treated them like they were incarcerated. Now that first building that was built in 1850 would last until about 1910 when they would demolish it to make way for a larger facility, which is the building we're in now. It opened up in 1911 for the same purposes. It would cater to the elderly, the mentally and physically disabled, um, would all come here for their care. Now over the years as the facility operated, they had over 200 deaths and they're actually uncovering more deaths each year as they do their research. It would continue to operate in this function all the way until 2010 when it was closed down because it didn't meet certain guidelines. There's not an elevator in the building. Now, the dining hall for the property is actually in the basement. So if anybody was bound to a wheelchair or physically unable to do stairs, they couldn't get down there. Same thing goes for the storm shelter that was located in the basement. Now, if there's tornadoes coming in, you need everybody to be able to get down there in a safe and quick manner. That just wasn't possible without an elevator. So the facility did shut down as it was easier and cheaper for them to just disperse the current residents to other facilities in the area and no longer use this. The current owners bought it a short time later, and in 2012, while one of them was here working, he laid down to take a nap and he had his first paranormal experience, actually one of the rooms right down the hall here. He felt somebody tugging on his foot. Kind of freaked him out, opened his eyes to the possibilities of there being something paranormal here, and shortly after that, investigators began coming here. It's been featured on Ghost Adventures and Destination Fear over the years as one of the most haunted locations in the entire Midwest. In terms of the paranormal, this place covers pretty much all the bases. I mean, people have reported smelling perfume, they've seen full body apparitions, they've heard disembodied voices, people running up and down the hallways. I mean, anything you can think of, you can probably experience here. People have even blacked out in certain areas of the building from the energy levels that just kind of spike up. Now, there are a few spirits that make their presence a little bit more known than others, and they stand out. Now, on the first floor and second floor, there's a little girl that goes by the name Susie. She's been heard and seen just running up and down the halls, humming and singing, and kind of playing games like any kid would. On the first floor, there's also a room where there's reports of during the operation, um, a, a sexual assault taking place in this room. And now people are hearing a woman crying and weeping in this room and actually seeing a patient sitting on a bed just kind of rocking back and forth crying down in that room, which is 105. Up here on the second floor, there's reports of a woman in white. She has gray hair. She walks up this main staircase and basically just vanishes. Uh, people have reported seeing her walk up the stairs, look out the window turn around and then just completely disappear. She's even been seen from outside the building. Just down the hall from her, there's reports of a grumpy old man, basically. He has a walker in his room and people often move it away from his bed. He gets very upset with that and angry EVPs have been captured in his room. In that hallway where the grumpy old man is, there is said to be a very tall, shadowy figure that kind of guards the hallway up here. So. Maybe we can try to get into contact with him tonight. And now the most notorious spirit in the entire building resides down in the basement and he goes by the name the Joker. We're not sure if it's one person or multiple, but he's down there throwing things. People have had plates thrown at him, knives, forks, full-bodied apparitions, shadows, voices. He just kind of 
is all over the place. And that's where they kind of get the idea that it may be more than one entity. He's at one end of the hallway making super loud noises. You go down there to see what it is, and now it's all of a sudden at the other end. He's setting off your equipment, cat balls, EMF detectors, pretty much anything you bring down there he's messing with. And he's really, really well known and stands out more than I think anybody here. The owner here actually was down there one day doing some work. He walked into one of the back rooms and he saw a full bodied apparition of a gentleman standing in one of the rooms. Now, he actually thought it was a trespasser, so he went to say, Hey, you don't belong in here. And as he's saying that, the guy just simply disappeared. So, that's pretty crazy. I mean, full bodied apparitions are something that, you know, are claimed at a lot of locations, but the amount of times that they're seen here really stands out to me. So I'm excited to get into it, try to talk to the Joker, try to see, you know, who's guarding this floor. Try to capture one of these full-bodied apparitions or one of these crazy EVPs that are reported to come out of this building. So I think what we do is we go downstairs, we grab the equipment, we get Mark and Deanna, and we just get into it and see what we can uncover tonight. I think we got our hands full tonight. Yeah, let's get it. All right, guys, we're at Edinburgh Manor. We have some of our friends, Mark and Deanna, here with us. We haven't seen them since the Mineral Springs episode on our channel. Um, what are some first impressions of Edinburgh? Uh, it's pretty much been active since the moment we got in here. Uh, lots of noises, you know, disembodied voices, and uh, just can't wait to see what's in store the rest of the night. What do you think? I mean, like Mark said, we've had voices, we've had noises since we got in here. I mean, just setting up, it seems like they're kind of all around us trying to scope us out, see what we're doing here. So I think we go upstairs, we start on the second floor and work our way down because the basement's supposed to have this guy named the Joker, some like dark entity who's kind of malevolent down there. So I feel like that's going to be the most like mentally oppressive area. So we got to build up to it. Yeah, know? it's definitely got, it's got the vibe, you know, it's got that look. It, it puts you in the mindset of an investigation a little bit different than, you know, necessarily a house or something like that. You know, it's a different style of investigation with a, a location this big. Yeah. Um, and again, a dark history, you know, all the, the poor farms always have a darker history to them, the way that people treat it here. So they seem like they're active and ready to talk. So we might as well get up there and see who we run into. Yeah, let's do it. Guys, we made it up to the second floor. Um, we're kind of starting in this hallway here because there's a lot of um, a lot of reports from this area. Behind me is a room where there's an older gentleman that gets a little bit upset if somebody goes in there and messes around with his walker. Um, we haven't done that yet. We haven't gone down there. We just kind of set some stuff up out here. Um, there's this room here where they get a lot of EVPs and now the mel meter's going off in the doorway again. And then down here to my right is the main staircase where they see the full body apparition of an older woman with gray hair and like a white hospital gown. Um, so we have the EMF trip rope going down there. And there's also a mel meter right on the top of the stairs. So we're going to try all this. We got two obviouses going. Obvious five, obvious three. Yours just said female, female which as is you're talking about the, female. the lady down there. Um, okay, so we'll focus on that. We do have the DR60s obviously as well, so we can try some of those if we need to. Um, so we're trying to set up like this just to kind of see where they want to talk to us. Um, there's so many reported spirits up here. We don't know who to really start with. So that's the other one. Yeah, on the stairs after it just said female. Yeah. Too. Yeah, it is. Can you step away for a second so this stops? We can use that device to ask you some questions. This one's going off. There's like a knock down there, too. Behind us. Yeah. Can you step away from both of them? So they both stop making that noise, whoever's up here? Okay, how about this one? By the stairs. Does that keep pinging? Yeah. Do you want us to come down there to talk to you? Is that the room? Yeah, that's the ammo. The room function? Yeah. Now this one's going off again. This stopped as soon as I got down here. But this one started going off. Kiss? Kiss? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Pass. I'm sure you're lovely, but I'm all set. I mean, that's right where they see her, too. Right. Right on right the top of the stairs. stairs. They say she turns to walk away, and then she just disappears.
What is that? What is that? What is that? There was like footsteps down here. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're both going off again? Footsteps yeah. Whoever's up here, can you step away from both of those devices so they stop making that noise right now? Please? There's walking down here. Did you yeah. hear that? Yeah. This one's done. This one's still going off. Happiness. Happiness. Happiness? Can you step away from that? Oh, that'll work. Thanks. Are you all trying to get our attention? It's like the same thing. Yeah. Because when we first got up here, we said, you know, maybe they can lure us to wherever they want to talk to us. It's like they're trying to split us up. Yeah. If that's what you want. What was that? If that's what you want. What was that? If that's what you want. What was that? That knock? Yeah, the knock. So, uh, if you want us to split up, can you make a really loud noise? Knock on a wall? Close a door? Climb? Climb? That's Ping. the rub. That's the rub. Climbing the stairs. And there's just walking in the, uh... Literally climb. What did you just say? There's walking in the room down there. Did you just say another word? No, did you hear that though? Enter. 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 Wait. What was that voice? It said another word between climb and enter, right? Or entire? No. You heard that what? voice too? Yeah. Did, the, did R say it? Did R no. say something? Wait, what? It said thank and tote. That's been there the whole time. I, I was so con That's why I didn't say anything. I was that confused. was 100% like the voice of an ovulus. That's why I, was, I didn't say anything. I was so confused. You, you didn't, didn't hear, hear that? Did you hear it? I, I thought it was just the Oculus. Yeah. But it did. Bike. Now it says bike. That was... Because it was so loud. It, it literally didn't say anything else. But you, what? Literally, yeah. What? That's wild. <laughs> I... <laughs> I couldn't tell. It sounded like like a male's voice or like the ovulus. It was yeah. super weird. That was weird. It's, it's the, that's the REM again. The REM is hitting on this. That's kind of crazy though. It says climb and then the REM goes off on the stairs. Yeah. Are you climbing up the stairs to talk to us? It's okay if you are. Come on up. Can you step away from this one so it stops going off? Just take a step back. Thank you. Now that one's going off. Can you touch the top of it? If you touch that metal rod on the... If you touch that metal rod on the... Oh! oh. EMF rope. Yeah. If you touch that metal rod on the oh, oh. EMF rope, yeah. If you touch that metal rod on the oh, oh. EMF rope, yeah. Did you just come up here and walk past me? Can you keep going and go down to the other device in the doorway down there by Dylan? It does the same thing as the one on the stairs. If you walked past me and you came up the stairs, can you go down there and touch that one? So that goes off and makes a noise? Oh, goodness. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now, can you walk away from that one? And get back down here? How fast can you come back down here? Run as fast as you can. I'll step out of the way. So step away from that one. Now, can you walk right by this again? Come on right down here. And then set this one on the top of the stairs again. Just gotta come down here and touch it. Or get near it.
movement back here. I just heard another knock down here too. And then this goes off. Good job. If you're down in that end room, can you make a loud noise like you've been doing? Can you hear that? Oh, good. Can you walk right through this doorway across these lights? Or reach down and touch one of them? Part of me wants to like just turn those off for a second and listen. Yeah. Because we've been hearing all those knocks and the footsteps and stuff. There's a lot of movement going on. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's drowning out a lot of it too. Yeah. yeah. All right, you kill that one, I'm gonna kill this one. So Mark just moved the EMF rope right here down to the top of the stairs. So if the woman is coming up the stairs or anybody, we'll be able to uh, see that. And then uh, we're kind of just gonna listen for a minute with the ovule system. What did I say? Sandra. Sandra? Okay. Sandra. Is that your name? Like whistling? Was that the wind? Yeah. That didn't sound like the wind. That sounded like a female voice. Like whistling? Was that the wind? wind? That didn't sound like the wind. That sounded like a female voice. Like whistling? Was that the wind? That didn't sound like the wind. That sounded like a female voice. Yeah, it was down here. Is that talking? Is that talking? Is that talking? Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear that one. Did you hear? Down this way? Yeah. Or this way? I couldn't tell which way. I thought it was down in front of us, but... I thought it was coming from down there. I'm surprised she didn't hear it's, It sounded yeah. like... Really or something. Yeah. Well, that's what happened with the audio is like weird voice, though. Steve and I heard it, but you didn't hear it. It's right in between us. Do you hear that? Listen. Oh. I heard that. Well, yeah, what was that? One of you? No, that, that was down by... It was down by them, yeah. Hello? In the door next to Deanna? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we did ask them, well, the, uh, for them to knock. Yeah. Could you knock again? Let us know where you are and we'll come into that room and talk with you. What? That was this one right here. That was down here, did you hear that? All right, you want us to come in that room? Come in, we can do some GR60s and stuff in there. Yeah, ask them some questions. It was the one right in front of you, right? Yeah, it was this one. All right, that's the one I got that weird EDP. Yeah, just watch the door. All right, we're coming in. Watch the door. The door's closed? Um, by your feet, Mel. Oh, you just left it in the middle of the door? Sure did. Man turns off a black piece of equipment <laughs> I did and leaves you. it in the hallway. I did warn you. You're a fool. I warn you. You're a fool. How was I supposed to know where to go? Why we just leave this in a doorway? I'm Thanks. sure they'll see it. It's just a black piece of equipment in the pitch black hallway. I did warn you. That is the, exactly. That's what he said. Watch the door. Watch the door. I'm like, well, I don't, the door's open. <laughs> what do you mean? Fool. But did you kick it? Ow. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the chair. What? Observe. Observe. All right, we came into this room because you were making noises in here when we asked you to. Do you want to talk to us? That's me, sorry. We can use some other pieces of equipment that'll be able to record your voice. Is that something you want to do? Was that right here? That was literally like right behind me. Yeah. Oh my God. 
He wants somebody to sit on the bed. If you want somebody to sit down on the bed, can you knock again? Or if you want us to use the recorders, make a noise, nice and loud so we know it's you, and we'll use the recorders. Yeah. We're going to try and uh, use these recorders to hear your voice, so if you have a message for us, we'll ask the question and then you can speak right into the little devices we're holding. We got four of them. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Yeah. Good? Ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Is your name Sandra? Who is the woman on the stairs? Was this your room? Do you like when people come to talk to you? One, two, three. All right, let's play these back, shall we? Did you make Sandra? What? Let me play that back. Did you make Sandra? I don't know. There's something else. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like me. What is your room? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. So I don't know, but yeah, I'm the woman on the stairs. That's weird. It could be multiple people. It could be, yeah. Store. Who else play next? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Sounds it says me. me. Yeah. What was that gonna say? I thought it was, I don't think, but I don't Yeah, I'll say play that again, actually. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. No, there's like a yell or something at the end. That was weird. Friendly. Company. Yeah. Co is this company? Do you like when people come to visit you? Think. Think. I don't think so. Right? It says I don't think so, and that says think. Company and think. You gotta play yours back? Get out. That's what it says, get out. Yeah. Play that back. Can you, can you rewind that? Get out. That was different. Like get out's weird. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, I guess what? Get out. But it's weird that two of them caught the me. Right. 
And then that one picks up something different. Yeah. Let's see what yours got. It's recorded the whole thing. I can't so, wait. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, no. Nah. That was a wild session. Yeah, so nothing really on that one. That's weird though. It's like, again, ours picked up something similar, almost the exact same thing. Yeah. Yours picks up something different. Yours doesn't really pick up anything. No. Oh. Weird. That's weird. I don't know though. It's, it's like it let us out of this room and then whoever's in here may not know their name. Right. Which I guess could make sense for what... You know, Where we are. Yeah, what went on in this building. Um, you got to think, too, if a nurse is walking through and sees four people standing out in the hallway, get like, out. <laughs> it's past your bedtime, yeah. go in your room, sort of thing, right. you know? And again, so. during the, you know, the nursing home days and everything like that, it was broken up into men and women's wing. So yeah. somebody's on the wrong end of the building right now. So <laughs> get out. <laughs> I don't know. I think we, we moved down, like moved to a different area and... Yeah, we yeah. go to the room with the guy with the grumpy, the grumpy older man. Yeah, we heard a lot of noises down there. Yeah, <laughs> let's go in there for a minute and see what we can get in there and move on some routes. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we made it to what is called the grumpy old man's room. We have the rope light set up around his walker. Apparently, he doesn't like when people touch his stuff. We also have the ovulus, both ovuluses set up. Um, we got the weird name, Sandra, and the equipment seemed to kind of build off of that, so... I guess we can see if she followed us down here, or maybe if Susie makes her presence known, or maybe we can try moving the walker, see if he reacts to that. Yeah, I say we, I say we move that in a minute and then try some EVPs. Yeah. Um, but first, like you said, let's see what these guys start saying and listen, see if you, you know, hear movement out in the hallway like we were hearing down there and just kind of go from there. Yeah. Sandra, if you're out in that hallway and you can hear us, can you make a noise for us? Knock on a door, move a chair, say something? The old man allegedly doesn't like his walker being touched. What if we uh, move your walker a little bit away from your bed? Will that bother you? We take it completely away. Words. Words. You're going to have some words for us if we move that? If you set off these lights around the walker, we won't move it. Just show us that you're here and you want to use it. We won't touch it. What's that? I don't know. I thought it was in the hallway. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. I thought it was in the hallway. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. I thought it was in the hallway. Yeah. Step out to my doom here. Yeah. What's that? Haste. 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 Do you want to talk to us tonight? Port. Port. I'm going to borrow your walker. Is that okay with you? If it isn't, could you give us a sign? Knock on something? Look. Human. Light up one of these lights around your walker to let me know you don't want me to take it. I kind of feel bad taking it. There's like noises out here. Yeah, I hear. 
I can't tell if it's in the room that we just came from, right. or it's at the end of the hall, right. but it's down there somewhere. If we didn't call you out by name, it doesn't mean that we don't want to talk to you. We understand a lot of you guys probably weren't treated the best here. And it wasn't fair that you ended up here. We'd like to hear your story if you're willing to talk to us. Loving. Loving. Because this place is relatively due to the paranormal. So I wonder if people coming in here, they don't really show empathy, you know? Kind of you. <laughs> Such a nice guy, not stealing from the elderly. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure you don't like to be known as the grumpy old man. Do you think you can tell us your name or what you want to be called? Did you have a wife? Did you hear that? Did you have a wife? Did you hear that? Did you have a wife? Did you hear that? Was that a voice? It, it was either a voice or a whistle. It was like... It was higher uh, pitched, uh, yeah. 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 Did we just hear you? It didn't sound male. No. But, I mean, that could have been San Sandra, it could have been Susie, it could have been... Whoever the girl on the staircase, yeah. yeah. That was weird. Yeah. No offense. Can you make that noise again? Whistle, talk, whatever you just did. Do you have a wife? Can you tell me her name? you mind that we're in your room? What program do you look forward to on the radio or the TV? Do you wish people would stop moving your walker? Play back. Wait, what was that? Oh. That's my walker. It's like, that's my walker. That's my walker. Yeah. Oh. Like super quick, right? That's my walker. It's it's definitely That's my walker. That's crazy. Do you have a wife? I have one. Yeah. here? What do you think I said? Uh, I don't know, I just... Get out of here. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Super weird. Yeah. It's pretty 
talkative though, responded to. Right. But it sounded like it said, that's my walker. He had a wife. Don't you ask him about his wife? Yeah. See if we can get it. I mean, what if it's Sandra? What if it's. Right. Yeah, put it over there. And if you were sent here, like during the pole farm days or even the nursing home days, that's right. probably something you're going to think about every single day. Right. That's my wife. Where's my wife? You know, yeah. I had a wife, but they put me in here. Or... Right. Sir, I'm gonna put this on your bed, okay? I hope that's all right with you. If you want to talk to us, you can talk directly into that. We might be able to hear you a little better, okay? Do you want to tell me a little bit about your life? Could you give us her name? Was she a teacher? Where is she? Can you tell us what this place is called? What year did you get married? Do you like the company? Do you want us to stay in here or do you, get, do you want us to get out? Were you treated well here? Thank you for sharing your space with us. It was nice to talk to you. Can you say goodnight? That was in the hall. Mm -hmm. That was definitely in the hall. It was regular, yeah, it should be good. Yeah. It was like a vocal, yeah, that thing. was weird. It was like a deep voice. Yeah. That is a very deep voice. Nothing. That was the only. No, I just I don't think it because it, it, yeah because yeah. we didn't pick up anything. But that yeah there was just no nothing no nothing in between them. But that one voice was weird. Yeah, wait, play that first one. No, that was like a very deep. No. You slow it down. She's gone? Wow. What did that say? I don't know. That is a that was weird deep. sounding voice. Yeah. It's not like he's a sad old man saying no to me. He's like, no. I thought it was like a couple of words almost. It's I like, thought it was two, yeah. Really? I, I don't know. It, it's so bizarre. It doesn't even so sound, it's like, it doesn't sound like a normal. Like scratchy DR6. Well, it's not even that. It doesn't sound like a human tone. Not that. That's what bothers me. It doesn't sound like a human. Right. That's weird. I don't think so. No, no, you said down before that, but it's that part right there. Clean it up. It sounds too deep. I don't. Yeah. <clears throat> like that the says, first thing that says enemy. I 
I don't know. What? That's it cleaned out. Disaster. Disaster. Yeah, records. What does that say? It. What? it there's like three words, like bump, bump. Yeah. Bump. Yeah, three syllables for sure. It's the. It's the. It's the. No. It's, it's got the, chills. I almost think it said it's the God. It's the. It's the God. Just like it. I, I hear that it's it's the something. Yeah. It's the, it's the guy. It's the guard. Like not talking to one of the or something who would be here. Right. The guys, it's the guy. That's so weird. I don't like that. No, I really no, like that. that's really creepy. It's the I don't like the, the voice, how deep it is. It doesn't sound like a natural human tone. That's something we covered though. There's something that stays Posse, here that right. tries, it's malevolent. Right. You know? It's not necessarily like demonic or anything, but it's it's kind of a trickster. It might be inhuman, right? Yeah. Like something other. Uh, that's bizarre. Yeah. That's and one of the weirdest and then everything else there was no response nothing. to anything after no, that. No. No. That was the last response on there. And like that's that's one of the weirdest EVPs I've ever gotten oh, on a DR60. It's, it's the guy. It's the guy that, you know, causes trouble around yeah. here. Maybe that's what you mean. It's the guy. That or... Didn't even sound like the other recordings we no. had. No, that's yeah. what I mean. That That was weird. That voice yeah. is weird. I feel weird. I feel really weird. Do we do one more in here? Like, just to see? Just to see? Just to it out. All right, do like one more? Wrong. Yeah, just run it. Let's do it right now. That was a weird voice. Like that is a uh, disconcern. Like that's uncomfortable. Yeah, just the tone of it. Do you want to just like let it run, not ask any questions? Yeah, I think like, right. So whoever just talked, come back in here and speak again into this device. We're not going to say anything. Did you guys hear yeah. talking in the hallway? Yeah. yeah. I, it's I like heard, muffled voices. Yeah. It's not, I mean, initially I thought I heard like a male's voice, mm -hmm. and then I heard like women's voices yeah. down there. It's, di it's different than the wind. It's yeah. so much different. I'm like, not even joking, the voice that I, I only heard like one small snippet yeah. of conversation. I swear to God, it sounded like you saying, I heard that when we got the ovulus voice. Oh my God. It sounded like you, literally sounded like you. Like me saying, I heard that? Yeah, I heard that. Like in that tone? But it was out there. Yeah. I don't. You guys. We just got it, yeah. <laughs> what? It, That's a it's like yeah. it's him. It's him in here with me? Something like that? It's him. Bum, 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 bum. That's weird. I don't know. This room got weird yeah, really quick. Yeah, that's a weird voice. Yeah. 
Jeez. Well, I feel like what? Yeah, it was a different voice too, though than yeah. the last one we heard. Yeah, I feel like he, like, I don't know if it was him or whatever, but right. he was whispering, trying yeah. to tell us something. Like, hey, that's him. Like, yeah. I wonder if it's like so. She said that at the one end of that one hallway, there's a, a shadow figure, right, or this guy that like guards the hall. He stands mm -hmm. down there and watches over the hall. What if he like controls everything up here, and that's the super deep voice we got, and he's saying, "Hey, that's him. He's it's, up here with me." Yeah, like you better watch it, kind of yeah. thing, right? Like that's a common that's theme. The guard. The, yeah. He's the guard, like. It, I don't know. Because that's, that's a common theme we've seen at locations. There's always like one person in charge. Okay. Right, or one thing. Yeah. yeah. One wants, energy. Yeah. Yeah. Something in charge up here. Um, I. Good. Uncle. Yeah. It's his uncle. Um, I think we move downstairs or go down one floor. Down maybe? one floor, and there's a bunch of rooms down there with well-known spirits and, and people that seem to interact so we go down there yeah. see if we can get some more intelligent responses i think and see if we can figure out what the hell was that that did not sound like the window the nice. wind's not even that sounded like this like i don't know that didn't sound i don't know this room's know. freaking me out right now yeah uh, it's getting a little weird that voice is weird i didn't like it um it's too deep and we go downstairs. See, I, I feel like we start. We ask questions about that, right? Like try to figure out who's in who's charge. upstairs, right? Yeah. Who who's upstairs? Who's who's this guy or whatever it is that seems to be running the show or in charge of people? And maybe if we're down a floor, they're more willing to talk. If he's not down there, yeah. If he's up here, right. So then we go off that, and then see where it leads us. Yeah, we yeah. might end up back up here at some point. Let's do it. Let's go. Really quick guys, before we head downstairs, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like. If we get 3,000 likes on this video, we'll go to another haunted poor farm somewhere in the country. So drop a like. All right guys, so we are down on the first floor now. Um, we're in the women's wing. According to what they know, um, there was a sexual assault that took place in here in this bed uh, to my left. Um, and so they actually get a lot of reports of a woman in here crying. Um, mm -hmm. They see her on, on the bed. They, they hear her in this room. They also have reports of like kids running around in here um, from the earlier time periods, jumping on the beds, uh, that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and do an Estes session. We're going to have Deanna go under by herself sitting on the bed um, where the sexual assault took place and see if we can get some answers about you know that instant and then also what was going on upstairs that voice that we got upstairs see if we can figure out maybe who that was if they control the building if they control that floor or if it was just you know a patient that was here and just had a deep voice you know i mean we could be reading into it more than we need to be um but i think the essence is going to be a good way to try to get some answers on that so we'll uh we'll put her under here and see what we can get and uh go, go from there, there. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, it. do it oh sure under. Yep, she's gone. We also have a uh, rope light set up over here. A rope light. Yes. A lamp. A lamp. Is there anybody in this room with us that would like to talk to us tonight? If there is, our friend Deanna over here should be able to hear you if you come up to her and speak. She'll relay whatever you say to her. She'll tell us, okay? Might be the easiest way for you to communicate with us. Ready? Ready? Ready. Ready to communicate. Ready to hear your story. What do you want to tell us? Yeah, that's a real point to come off. Did you just set off one of those lights? It's okay if you did. You're not in any trouble. We're just here to talk to you. If you're willing, we'd like to hear more about you. History you're of this wrong. place. You're wrong. You're wrong. So maybe... Are we wrong about the history of this room? 
You're not. You're not, we're not wrong about the history of this room. So what are we wrong about? Do you mind that we're in here with you? Hello. Hi. Hi there. Can you tell us who was upstairs? We caught a really deep look voice. At, look. What do you want us to look at? Where? Yeah, direct us. Tell us where to go. Cabinet. Cabinet. Look over there. Which cabinet? One of the cabinets in this room? Are you hiding in one of the cabinets? If it's one of the kids, yeah, maybe they're playing hide and seek. Are we talking about one of the cabinets and or dressers in this room itself or somewhere else? Could you tell us your name? Happy. Happy. Are you happy? What was that? What was that? What was that? Like whistling? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. That wasn't the wind. That was out in that hallway. Yeah. One hundred percent was out in that hallway. Because that was a whistle or like a very very faint scream, like a. It was high pitched. High pitched scream, yeah. That's something we've had all night though. Yeah. Did you just scream? Or did somebody else scream? Come on now. Come on now? Are you in this room with us? Or are you out in the hallway? Do you hear Yeah, same I'm thing. Out. Yeah, I'm out. Do you hear that, that loud? Yeah, I'm out. Do you hear that, that loud? Yeah, I'm out. Do you hear that, that loud? Yeah. Did you hear that one? Yeah. Is there somebody out in the hall? If you're out in the hallway, feel free to come talk to us. I wonder if there's a, just a bunch of men asking questions in the women's wing if that's uh, uncomfortable for them. Right, if they're not, especially if what they think happened in here happened in here. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? They might not be as open to talking to us. Is that the case? Are you uh, worried about three men standing in your room? We're not supposed to be in here? Would you be more comfortable if a, a woman was in? What are you saying? I'm asking if uh, you're comfortable speaking with us. We're three men in the women's wing. I don't know if that's out of place or not. If it's evil. Okay. Evil. evil. She might think men are evil. Do you think men are evil? We don't mean you any harm or mean to scare you. Just trying to ask you some questions and get some answers. What happened to you is terrible. We're very sorry. Can we do anything for you? How old? 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 How old? old. How old? That's fucking weird. How old? Well, I'm 35. How old are you? I'm 29. I'm 20. Your age. Yep. Those are our ages. Yeah. Are you his age? Is that what you're saying? Are you 20? 
Is that how old you were? 20? Are you closest to his age? Or were you 20 when this happened? I'm Steve. My name is Dylan. That was nice. What are you? That's so weird. What are you? Uh, we're just, <clears throat> we're friends. That's good. We just came to talk to you. Is that okay? Can you give us your name? So we know how to address you? You want to tell? We want to tell your story. It sounded like it got cut off at the end. Oh, it sounded like a guy? She's, or it got cut off. Or it got cut off. We want to tell your story if we can. If you're comfortable with that. Are you able to give us your name? Do you know a woman by the Men. name? Men. 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 Yeah, there's three of us in here. Men. Are we not supposed to be in here? Footsteps? Did no, did you see her? No. What'd she do? Did you see her? No. She like picked her head up and like went like and like smiled and then put her head back down. What? But, but didn't say anything. Do you like that we're in here? That was super weird. I mean, they say that during the Estes method, it can heighten your other senses. Well, you know? don't they say like people take on her emotions in here? Yeah, that's true. It was weird. She like picked her head up and like opened her mouth like she was like, like she was gonna say something and then didn't and just like smiled. It's been a night. It's been a night. That's been a night for us all. But a very interesting night. Have you been coming around with us or have you been down here all night? So, with. You've been following us around? Did you hear that? What? Yeah, like, like, some kind of clatter, like, something, I don't know, I can't even explain what it was. Like a, like a bang or something? Yeah, but a faint one, like, like far from the distance, I was like way down the other end of the hallway. It's okay if you've been following us. We're here to talk to you. Is there somewhere you want us to go? Where you want to lead us somewhere? Who's that you? What'd you hear? I don't know what that was. It's almost like music. I couldn't notes or something. I couldn't. I didn't know if you like Emmett. 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 <clears throat> that was a weird noise. I don't. Over there. Emmett over there. In this room. Did I hear Emmett? Is that what I just heard? Or who I just heard? Who's Emmett? Do you know someone by the name of Sandra? Do you know whose voice we cut upstairs? If you want to. We would love to know who that was. You're kidding me. I'm right. 
Can you tell us the name of whoever spoke to us upstairs? He's a really deep voice, if you know them. Who's the guy in the basement that everybody calls the Joker? Was it multiple people? We're going to stop her in a minute. And we're going to move downstairs to the basement towards the cafeteria. Would you like to come with us? Follow us down there? He's incredible. He's incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody says that the Joker is the most powerful thing here. It throws stuff at people. Right. It scratches people. It right. assaults people. Right. So I mean, maybe even Josh at Malvern yeah. Manor. He said he's had forks and knives thrown at him down there. That's insane. That's. But you got to think if, in their realm, in their world, whatever it is, that's probably incredible. Yeah. Like how much power? Yeah. If it's one entity, it has. Well, you want to go try to talk to the Joker and see if. Is that like a scream? What? Did you? I yeah. Heard that. that was loud. That was so loud. That was definitely a scream. That was yeah. 100%. That sounded like... Like down the hallway to the right. That literally sounded like... Like a, a woman or a kid just screamed down that hallway. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. I think we pull her out and... Uh, Follow whatever that we was. go that way and, and work our way towards the basement and try to talk to the Joker and See figure out what he is and yeah. who he is. All right, All right let's, let's go. go. So we just got down to the basement. This is where the Joker is said to hang out. Um, when Destination Fear came here and Ghost Adventures, um, when they came here, there is some wild stuff down here. People have been attacked down here. Plates have been thrown, yeah. forks, knives, chairs have moved. Just setting up, we already have equipment going off. Um, We're hearing voices, footsteps, bangs. I mean, yeah. But I don't know what to do. I think we Literally. just start, like, we go, I think we stand right in the edge of that, that hallway right there. Just kind of in the middle of everything? Yeah, and just listen and start, and then maybe do some GR60s in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but right See, now, just he's using the equipment and making noises, so. Because, I mean, the tour guide um, actually said that she thinks the Joker is multiple, multiple entities. Multiple, yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I that wasn't that. you? No. That was definitely down the hallway. That was right before that went off, too. What's, so, what's crazy is all the EMF levels are not zero. That one right there is 0. 0.4. I can read it from here. I don't know what that one is. That, that one. one's too far away, and that one's like 100 yards away. But... They were when we had them on the table. We were setting them up. They were all above like a point five. Yeah. What? That sounded like silverware moving. <laughs> I'll be upset if it flies at me. <laughs> that was at zero now. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like like plates clanking or something. Like or like silk like like forks and knives. And there's literally a container in there with forks and knives. Forks and knives. The wind up. Here, can you confirm something for us? Can you step away from that so it stops? Just take a step back. It'll stop making noise. Okay. If the Joker is multiple people, multiple entities down here in the basement, can you set off multiple devices? You got one. Do two or three. As many as you can. Oh, that one down there was going all off. Th that all, went three. all three went off. Can you stop them all at the same time? Who's walking down there? those footsteps? Yeah. They echo down the hallway. Oh, that's coming closer. Oh, that's coming closer. 
Oh, that's coming closer too. I almost... They're on each end. Uh -huh. Both sides. Because this leads to the boiler room, which yeah. is the oldest part. It's the part the of the old, original yeah, building. The old, yeah. uh, the old basement from the 1850 building. This is too bad. I really hate when you show up to a haunted location and it's haunted. Can you make a really loud noise for us? We can hear you walking around, setting off equipment. But we've heard that you can do a lot more. That's two of them. And there's still footsteps down there. Yeah. Can you move a pot or a pan, a piece of silverware, a chair, a door? Do something like that so we really know it's you. Show us how strong you really are. And they all stopped. It's down that way. It's down that way. It's down that way. And At the very end, yeah. And that goes off. Let's stand in the doorway. Yes, move towards it a little bit. Famous last words. Mm -hmm. So it's like now we're cornered though. You know, we're in between the two or three that are walking around. I mean, it's okay because, I mean, I have literally no problem sacrificing you, so I will trip you if we need to leave. Thanks. Yeah. Are you down? What? You didn't hear that voice? No. I, I cracked my pants through this, so I just... <laughs> What it sound like a loud voice down at the end of this hallway. I could not tell what it said, but it was at least two words. That was so loud. I can't believe you guys didn't hear that. Can you say something for us again? Yell as loud as you can. You can get louder than that. I almost want to cut those off. Yeah. For now. Just see. Yeah. yeah I want to get this one. Yeah. I can't see. I'll stand in the dark, scary hallway. It's fine. Good job. Okay. I caught him completely off. I'm just going to bring this one over here for now so we don't forget it. Yeah. But we can put him back up in a minute if these, if these voices and noises stop. But. Oh, that's good. I'm happy for you. Good luck. One down there is going off now. And guys, again, just to show you, like, <laughs> this basement is the darkest part of this building. Um, yeah, there's no light down here. This is what we're seeing. That's the millimeter all the way down at the end of the hall. It is pitch black. Can you step away from that? So it stops making that noise? Thank you. Now do us a favor. Make as loud of a noise as you can. Slam a door. That was pretty loud. Slam a door. That was pretty loud. Slam a door. That was pretty loud. That was There's no one. <clears throat> There's it three times in a row. Whoa. Can you make a noise a little closer to us? We can hear you down there. That was behind you. Did mm. you hear that? That was over in that corner. That was closer. That was substantially closer. Yeah, yep, sure was. It's getting, it's That's getting closer. That's behind you. 
that was over here. And again, if it's multiple entities, they're all going to work together right. to try to scare us. Why is my back to the long, scary, dark hallway right now? Good luck. No. <laughs> There's nothing above you, Mark. That's good. There's a pipe like a foot from your head, but... Mm -hmm. This is cool. Your move, so that's nice. Yeah, like you're you yeah, got some clearance. Okay, I got goosebumps like through all eighty seven of these layers of clothes. Yeah. Can you walk towards us so we can hear you? Walk down here. That was loud. Yeah. Do us a favor and run down the hallway towards us as fast as you can. That's kind of mean. Who is that a favor for? <laughs> uh, oh. It, Excuse me. It's getting closer. Come down here. Can you try to scare us? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Good luck, you're closest to it. The vibe has changed completely. Yeah, it's uh... A little bit icky down here. Yeah. I mean, Deanna was saying she was like completely drained she before we wiped down here. Yeah. She was wiped after that Estes, so she had to take a break. This place is draining. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Really loud bang. You coming down to join us? We've been told you throw things. Silverware, plates. Throw something. Knock something over, slam a door. What was that? I don't know. It's like three different noises. Yeah. If you're so strong, do something bigger than that. What can you do? There's a lot of movement. Yeah. Do you want us to come down there to you? Touch that box on the ground. When the light's up, it makes noise. That was loud. Do that again. Make another loud knock when I count to three so that we know it's you. It's gotta be loud, and right when I get to three. One, two, three. Make a loud noise. Those three knocks. Stop. Okay. Do you want to talk to us? Do you want us to use these voice recorders that we have? Try to pick up your voice? This 
say we go about halfway down this hallway. Yeah. And do some DR60s. They did record for a while. Already. Okay. Oh, you did? So there, yeah. Yeah, go halfway down, do session. Because the noises about down this end have quieted. Yeah. Everything seems centralized and focused down here now. Right. So I think we go about halfway down, ask yeah. some questions, try to talk to the Joker. Or, who? <laughs> or whoever's doing all of that. <clears throat> right. I'll just gotta watch the music box in the hall here. Exactly, it sounds like something moving on like the tables. We'll go in there after and check it out. But let's do, uh, let's do a couple questions each. Yeah. All right, ready? I just got a really bad headache. I actually started getting a headache. Like right on the front. Oh, mine's at the base of my neck. Right, right here in the front of my head. That's something to report though. All right, ready? Yeah. Can you step back? So we can try to pick up your voice. Step away from that device. So we can ask you some questions. Instead of using that device, come speak right into these devices we have in our hands. You think it's trying to lure us down there? To do the questions in there? Let's see. You know? Yeah. Let's go straight down there. Go all the way down. I feel like I've seen this in a horror movie. This is at a point five. Point five. Point seven. Can, Can you get it up to one? Raise that to a one. Point six. Raise that to a one point zero. Point eight. You almost got it. How strong are you? Come on, one one point zero. Take whatever energy from us you need. Excuse me. What's behind us? No, it's behind us. Yeah. Oh, that's the rem. That's the rem. Twelve point five. Twelve and a half. Eleven. I said, how how powerful are you? All right. Back to zero. So it's like I came over and touched it just to prove how powerful it was. Literally a 12.5. Ram goes off back to zero. Now it's at a point two, point four, point five. And now the noises are at the other end. Point six. Do that again. Point seven. Come on. If you're so strong, do it again. Touch the top of it. Make that go up as high as you can. Can you beat 12.5? I don't think you can. Come on. 18. 18. Oh my god. Well done. Look at that. That's crazy. That's actually 15, insane. 15.3 and back to zero. Back to zero. So all it's doing is coming over and touching it just to prove that it can. That's incredible, thank you. Come on, again. Another one. Nothing noise behind us. Can you beat 18 this time? What do you think, 20? What's the highest you can get it? I have a headache. I have a headache again. Right in the front of my head. Well, it's picking up high Milgauss too. Yeah. Milgauss is known to affect people. Come on. EMF levels. I bet you could get to 25. Can you do it? Touch the top of it. And go over 20. I don't think you can beat 18 this time. I don't think you can beat 18 this time. I don't think you can beat 18 this time. Did you hear that? Yeah. Those noises are so loud. And they're at the other end. It was like three knocks, four knocks, and then... Like a, 
Yeah. Like a whisper, or like a mm, like, yeah, like a hum, yeah, or yeah, something, like a groan almost. Come on, do it again. Touch the top of this and make it go higher than eighteen. I don't think you have it in you. Again, you can take whatever energy you need from us. Beat 18. Come on. Once you get it above 20, we'll ask you some questions, see if we can pick up your voice, and then we'll leave you alone for the night, okay? Yep, okay. Come on. There you go. How high can you get it? Touch the top of it. Get back over here. Come on. That's crazy because now it's all back at the other end. Yeah, all of the noises are. It switched as soon as we came down here. It's probably pretty draining, right? It's hard to do so many things at once. Not if it's multiple people. Yeah. You know. Come on. Come back over here. That's getting closer. Yeah. Touch the top of this device again. And make the number go above 18. You got 18 last time. Make it go higher. Use whatever energy you have left. Take any you need from us. Grab a hold of the top of it. Light it up. Go above 18. What do you say we do if he's right here? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. One, two, three. Who is the Joker? Is the Joker one or many people? One, two, three. This just turned off. I just turn off on you. Did you hear it click? No, I couldn't even hear it. What are you trying to sneak up on us? Grab it. There you go. Did you turn off my recorder? Did it die? No, because there's still a display on the screen. It just stopped? Yeah, I can't. Right after you said you can take energy from whatever, though, my that's recorder turns off. That's place back, right? Many people. You think so? Listen to that. Who is the Joker? Is the Joker one or many people? Many people. Yeah, the people like so the broken clear. up. It's like yeah. many people. That's what they thought, though. Yeah. You know that makes sense. All right. Let's see if you got the same thing on yours, or if it's something completely different. Help me? It was way different. Yeah, that definitely didn't pick up the same thing. Yeah. Did yours record at all? I don't think so, no. That's weird. That's so weird. I, I did. That's it. That's it. That's literally all I got. As soon as I ask a question, it turns off. 
Okay. Are you done with us? You done talking? You getting tired? Let's step in here. Oh, 0.9. Oh, good. 1.0. Oh. I'm going to go in here and do one more. Yeah. In here more. It's just crazy that those noises. Are you walking past it? I was already here. You nowhere near it. Yeah. So it's like it followed us. I just think it's crazy that those noises completely stop down here when we come down and they go all the way down to the other end now. Yeah. Right, let's do another one, ready? Let's see if this one wants to record. Yeah, this one's normal. It's fine. It's fine now? It's totally fine. That doesn't make any sense. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Who's in charge of this building? Did you turn off my recorder in the last session? How many of you are down here? Are you the person that throws things? Do you feed off her energy? Is that why you try to scare people all the time? That's crazy, my camera just stopped recording. Your, your camera stopped recording? This is complete stuff. Did you just stop his camera from working? Completely stopped. Yeah, it's not like it doesn't have a lot of uh, memory. Right? You got yeah. You have the, the you got the terabyte of memory. You can record for six years. Yeah, that's crazy. So you stops your recorder. Yeah, stops his camera. What's it at? Ten three. Ten three. Now it's point two. <laughs> it's like it always wants to be behind us. It's trying to catch us off guard. That's so weird. It's chilling at a point six, point seven. All right, let's play these back. Yeah. Right. Who's in charge of this building? Say I am. I am. Who's in charge of this building? Did you stop this camera from working? It was a full sentence. Yeah, I, I played it back. Did you stop this camera from working? Did you stop this camera from working? I can't make it out. <clears throat> That's bizarre. That was really weird. Alright, no players. Just me. 
Yeah. Do you hear why that? Like a lot of talk. Yeah. Is that all recorded? Yeah. What did that say? That? I don't even know. Is that even me? 76. Did I say please let me out? Listen to that. Please, Please let, let me out. out. Who? That was vocal though. That dude, that's so weird. That's not my voice. No, that's why I played that yeah. to see if it was on. That is not my voice, and that's not on Play that one. I'm playing one more time. Dude, yeah. that literally says, "Please let me out." Please let me out. It's just... That's uh, that's disturbing, actually. That is a. That's what they say the Joker does, though. He mimics people. I wonder who that would be, though. Who does that sound like? It doesn't sound like me. But you guys said that earlier before we even got here, because you guys got here a little before us, yeah. that you that you were using um, the the tour guide's like portal basically. Yeah. And you heard my you, voice. Yeah. And you Same, thought we got distinctly here. Distinctly you, yeah. Right. You thought we had already gotten here and you're like, oh, and you went out to check and we weren't even here yet. Yeah. And then you thought you heard me earlier. Yeah. Upstairs on the oh, second floor. You know, what was that or whatever? Yeah. It sounded exact it was like down the hallway. It was so weird. Why are they mimicking me though? Like I've never been here. Right. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's weird. Because I mean, we we did say like, oh, our friend Steve's almost here. Right. He's like you know, a few minutes away, whatever. And then you so, thought it was me. But then it was your voice. It right. wasn't like it said your name. Right. Your name. It said it was like your voice coming through. Play that again, dude. That's that's bizarre. That's the second super weird voice and EVP we've caught on DR60 tonight. Like that other one upstairs, that super deep voice. And it cuts out too. I've and then it turns off. That's the second time in a row. Yeah. I've never seen them stop it. No. Shut off like that. Play that back. Please let me out. Dude, that's weird. That's so vocal though. That's disturbing. I don't like that. No. Because like, who is it? And let you out of where? Right. Is it a residual voice that right. you just happen to catch? Like, please let me out of here. Or you know what I mean? Like. Someone who was brought here, abandoned by their family, and right. they just want to go home, sort of thing. Or I don't know. Like, wh what could that be? It's weird down here. It, yeah, it is, this yeah. is a weird area. Um, the bangs, the footsteps, the, the fact voices, that they switch sides. Like they turn off your voice recorder twice. Turn off his camera. And turn off your camera. This chills at like a point five point six. It spiked to one for a second. Yeah. Later. And there, as soon as I start talking about it, it goes off again. Yeah. As soon as I start talking about it, the REM pod goes off again. Because uh, it was making noises the entire time. 1.4, 1.1. We start 1 calling out how powerful it is, and all of a sudden, we get all these EVPs. Yeah. This starts going up to 18. On, and on command. It does yeah. it. You know what I mean? Like, right on command. And it's the REM feature and everything. And it's picking up milligauss, which right. EMF is what spirits are thought to be made of. That's so I don't know. What a weird, weird session to end it, but <laughs> it's after five o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Sun's gonna be up soon. Uh, what do you guys say? We call it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Wrap it. It's about that time. It's a good, a good uh, EVP to go out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. All right, that is officially a wrap on Edinburgh Manor. What a night. Yeah, um, I didn't really expect the Joker to be such a, uh, I don't know, jokester, prominent figure in the basement. I mean, I've heard Destination Fear had crazy experiences, Ghost Adventures had crazy stuff happen. Even Josh from Malvern yeah. Manor told us it was going to be crazy, and it was, turns out. Yeah. 
kept zapping all of our equipment and borrowing the energy to make other things happen, loud noises. I don't know if it's one or multiple. Yeah, I mean, turning off the DR60 twice down there, turning off your phone while you're recording a video. Yeah. Um, the EVP we got down there, which was super, super weird, but also that EVP we got upstairs, that really, really deep voice, that one stood out to me because that, it was unnerving. Yeah. You know, the tone in its voice, we couldn't make out really what it was saying, but it didn't sound like any EVP I've ever heard from a DR60. Yeah. So what if the whole night is following us around trying to get us freaked right. out and that feeds into his energy, you know? Right. Yeah, it's feeding up. Our All leading up to them. getting downstairs, but I mean, we only covered a small portion of this building tonight. It's massive. There's a lot more to do here. So I think we're definitely going to have to come back for another night, um, you know, face the Joker again, see if we can figure out kind of what's going on down there and, and see if we can decipher, you know, some more of these stories in this building. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, we got a lot more coming up on this channel, guys. So don't forget to turn on those notifications so you're not missing any of these upcoming investigations. And uh, we'll see you at the next one.